So what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome everybody to a brand new video here today on the channel. Today guys, we're going to be talking about all of the brand new features that are coming to Minecraft in the next big update. A lot of really cool new stuff is coming down the pipeline that we're going to be talking about today, including some massive changes that are coming to the nether. So we're going to get our hands in all of that today. But if you guys end up enjoying the video, then I would really appreciate if you could spare a second to drop a like rating. It is absolutely free and it helps me out a lot. Of course, if you are brand new on here, remember to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more Minecraft videos like this as well. But with that stuff being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about all of the new things that are coming to Minecraft very, very soon. Now to kick things off here, one of the biggest new changes that's coming is the addition of blue fire. So we obviously have regular fire in Minecraft, but there's going to be a kind of counterpart to it that's mostly found in the nether. Now for the most part, blue fire is going to act just like regular fire does, except for a couple of things. When you light up soul sand, it's going to be blue regardless of which dimension you're in, if you're in regular earth or if you go to the nether, but blue fire is going to naturally spawn a, a, very often in the nether. This is a small part of these supplemental updates that are coming that are completely changing the way that the nether looks and feels. Another addition we're going to be getting is nether fungi. Now this is going to be increasing the spawns of some other like uh, peripheral materials that we can find in the nether because previously the only things you could really find were just mushrooms and that was about it so they're really trying to flesh that out and give us some more stuff to use in the nether. Another new item we're going to be getting is very interesting. It's a redstone target block. So the way that this is going to work is you'll have a target that you can set up with redstone stone and when shot with an arrow it's going to emit a beam. The variable that's kind of interesting here is the fact that the the signal that the redstone block emits will be stronger or weaker depending on how close of the center of the block you hit with that arrow. It's not entirely clear yet how people are going to end up using this item but it is kind of interesting to know that you can detect the power of the signal based on how close that arrow was to the beginning. This item is probably going to be good for you know relaying communications or doing some very other kind of off the cuff things with this thing. Now, another thing we're going to be getting inside of the nether are two brand new mushroom types. Unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have names for these mushrooms, but we know sort of what they're going to look like. One is going to be a teal mushroom with orange spots, and then the other one is going to be a sort of pinkish red one that has a brain-like pattern. Now, I think it's safe to say that the regular mushrooms that we're used to having in the nether to begin with, the standard ones we've had forever, are also going to be accompanying these brand new ones, but there's just going to be a plethora more of uh, new stuff to find. We're also not sure at the moment if you're going to be able to use these brand new mushrooms to make soups or anything like that, but you can still make it with the old ones, of course, but there will probably be new features with the brand new mushrooms that we haven't been able to make before. Now, also, as part of the nether update, we're getting a new blue nether wart block that is very similar to the standard one that we have right now, but it's going to be in the blue nether wart forest. I think right now it's basically going to be the same thing as the standard nether wart, just with a slight blue tint. Also, some brand new nether wart stems are going to be featured inside of the nether update as well. They're likely going to be similar to the vines that we have in the earth realm of Minecraft that you can climb up and there's going to be blue and red variations of these vines. As far as all the functions that these vines may have, we don't know at the moment, but these are definitely coming and likely going to be climbable and or also have some other things we can do with it. Also in the nether, some new variations of grass are going to be coming that come in a red and blue form and also a new soul sand block has been spotted that has blue fire on top of it. Now, we're not entirely sure what the relationship to regular soul stone is at the moment. Either this is going to be a new version with functionalities or it's going to be a slight variation, although mechanically very similar to regular soul stone. We're not sure yet. Now, this item's kind of interesting. We're getting a brand new light block that's pretty similar in its functionality to glowstone, but it doesn't really quite work the same way. It's going to spawn in nether trees and also somewhat randomly around the terrain of the nether. So it's going to sort of like light the path along the way. And when you see the trees, there's probably going to be some in there. So this is kind of just going to give a little bit more light and life to the nether that isn't lava. Because when you think about it, really one of the only sources of light when you're down there because there is no sun is really just the lava itself, some fire that's laid around, and potentially whatever other small light sources there are. But now we're going to be getting a brand new one that hopefully should make it look more lively. I think it's good to see that we now have a second source of light emission that isn't a torch or a glow, some of the two things that we've been used to forever. And there's a new one added to the mix, and potentially you can do some interesting things with combining all of these together. We're also going to be getting some new mobs called piglins, and this is interesting because it's not only going to be in addition to some mobs we have already, but a tweak to some of the existing ones already. So piglins are going to be found in the nether, and they're naturally hostile towards the player, unless you're wearing gold armor. Now, obviously, as a lot of you guys know in Minecraft, gold armor is not really ideal. You want to have something a little bit stronger, such as iron or diamond, and gold is like one of the lower choices on this, but it's at least can provide a sort of undercover camouflage when it comes to piglins. However, 
However, that being said, your cover will still be blown, even if you're wearing gold armor, if you go and you loot any chest containing an item crafted with gold near that piglin. So basically, if you pull a gold sword out of a chest in the vicinity of a piglin, they're still going to attack you, despite you wearing that gold armor. Now, the fun part about these is they're not all bad. They're typically going to spawn in with swords or crossbows for the most part, but they're also able to barter with you, sort of like how villagers work, and they will attack wither skeletons and the new piglin beast. So they're not inherently a very hostile or negative creature. If you're wearing gold armor and you want to go undercover and just not bother with them, you can choose to do so. Then you can even have them fight for you, really, or you can even trade up with them and, and get some nice items. So this means, depending on how you play your cards, they can either be your friend or your foe. Now, speaking of piglin beasts, this is another new mob we're going to be getting, who are also obviously found in the nether. These are naturally hostile towards the player as well, and they have a very high melee range compared to all of the other mobs. So basically, they're going to be able to hit you from much farther away than you're used to with many of the other enemy types in Minecraft. One of the coolest features about these new enemy types, however, is the fact that they can be bred as well, and they drop raw beef. Now, this may end up being a placeholder item, and we don't know if that's what they're always going to drop, because as you guys know, there's really no way to get a source of beef from the nether. If you're going to bring it, then it has to be brought out from the earth realm in Minecraft and through the portal. But it seems like at least some kind of food source is going to be able to be acquired from these nether beasts. You can breed them, you can farm them, obviously, and this is maybe going to be one of your main sources of creating food in the nether, because that was one of the problems with Minecraft previously, is that it was extremely difficult to manage food while you're down there. You'd often have to come back to restock on food and then bring it down there. There wasn't really much you could do as far as like farming and generating an infinite source of food in the nether. So with the addition of both these beasts and also the new mushrooms that we're going to be getting within the other nether biomes, it looks like they're fixing that problem to some degree. Speaking of the nether biomes, we're going to be getting at least three new biomes inside of the nether, and one of them is the soul sand valley, which is going to include uncovered fossils, lots of blue fire and fog, as well as soul sands. This is basically going to be the desert equivalent in the nether that's we're used to in the regular Minecraft. Minecraft Earth Realm. We don't know 100% yet if this is going to include any sort of like desert temple equivalent in the Nether as well, but I wouldn't be surprised if we got that at some point. Another one of these biomes is the Netherwort Forest Red, and it's basically going to be a very dense forest where a lot of these brand new mushrooms are going to be found. So again, a forest equivalent of what we're used to in regular Minecraft. This is where you're going to find a lot of your Nether forest vegetation and that sort of thing. It is going to be extremely dense as a forest, and it's really going to help balance out the like barren aspect of the Nether that is usually there. Another biome is going to be separate, but it's a blue version of the red forest that we just spoke about. So there is a difference between these two forests as far as color, but also maybe even functionality and then the type of items that spawn there. And there potentially could be more biomes that we don't know about yet or other variations of the ones that we know. Throughout the new version of the nether, bastions are going to are going to spawn that are fortifications built by the piglins that can be found basically all over the place. These could be the desert temple equivalents, although I I would say maybe a lot of the items that you're going to get out here is going to be gold stuff and that's sort of like the bait if you end up taking their gold then all of the piglins are going to turn against you so you got to be careful about that also the regular zombie pigmen that we've had in minecraft are now going to be renamed to zombified piglin so they're trying to get the names of all of the mob spawns in the nether to be a bit more uniform so now it's a simple name change but nothing else is really changing with the regular pigmen as we know it also a really cool feature coming to the gameplay as a change in the nether your players are not going to be able to respawn on here. As you guys know, if you die in the nether for whatever reason, you're going to spawn back on the earth realm, likely wherever your bed was, and there was no way previously to actually respawn here if you had died, but that's going to be changing now. We don't know for sure how we're going to make respawns here, whether that's the function of a new item, we don't know. It's still likely that beds will not be able to be placed in the nether, but whatever the feature is, we're at least going to be able to come back here without having to portal it every single time, which is a very good quality of life change, if you ask me. And now, a couple features that we're not sure about yet. We may be getting functionality to the smithing table and also the fletching table. You guys know these were some recent additions to the game, but they're kind of just for decoration right now. They're supposed to have some functionality and mechanics added to it, but we don't know what those are going to be. It's kind of uh, annoying at the moment because I'd like these to do something, and so would many other players, but at the moment they do absolutely nothing, and a lot of players have been tricked by it thinking that they need to have this in their game or this is a necessary part of, you know, going along with their crafting table and their oven, that sort of like essential stuff. It's probably going to get some mechanics very soon, but we're going to have to wait and see what that actually does. And then finally, pigs may be getting a change as well. Now, normally when pigs were struck by lightning, they would transform into
into zombie pigment, but it's possible that that feature that was in the game may be getting removed. Now, when it comes to why they're going to be removing this, I'm not sure at the moment. It's possible that they want to keep all of the like nether spawned mobs inside of the nether and don't want anything coming out in that way, but that's just my speculation. It's not something that happens very often to begin with, which is okay, but it's still something worth noting. But guys, those are the big updates that are coming to Minecraft very, very soon. All of the new stuff. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. This really has a lot to do with changes of the nether. Really nothing else is being tweaked aside from that, but it's good to see the nether getting a complete overhaul and is going to be a bit more uniform with the game of Minecraft and just having more features as a whole. But let me know your opinions down below in the comment section, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are brand new right here, of course, and I'll see you guys in the next stream or the next video. Take it easy, guys, and peace out.